For months now, we've been exposing how anyone, even someone with a dangerous criminal record, can be a massage therapist. And now, after our reporting, that could change. CBS 2's Tara Molina is always investigating and reports how lawmakers are working to make the entire practice safer. Making rooms like these safer for all in Illinois. It's what these aim to do. Two bills, possible changes to state law, being discussed by lawmakers in our state capitol right now, following our months of reporting, exposing issues with how massage therapy licenses and more are handled here. Complaints against those workers, too. The system has let me down from one end to the other. It all started with Christine, who filed a lawsuit after learning her massage therapist, who ultimately pleaded guilty to attempted criminal sexual abuse, had a felony conviction in his record. Our reporting exposed the state does not automatically bar license applicants with criminal histories. We're talking about anything from first degree murder and aggravated battery to stalking, theft and kidnapping. We also exposed lapses in communication between the state agencies taking criminal complaints and reports and the agency maintaining those licenses. Thank you so much for you know exposing that and for exposing that problem because if you wouldn't have done that, we would have had no idea that there was a problem. That's State Representative Tom Weber. Well, I'm sitting about 50 feet down from the rotunda in the middle of the Capitol. Updating uh, us virtually. You know, when I looked at it, I was like, wait a second, you could be have been convicted of kidnapping and be in the you know, one-on-one behind closed door situation. Weber introduced both of these bills. One would ensure the state's licensing office has all records of felony convictions and make sure someone like Christine knows they have a right to file a formal complaint with the state against someone licensed by them. The other would require a worker, like a state licensed massage therapist, to undergo the same checks and reviews other health care workers would, like a certified nursing assistant. This is, uh, I think, reasonable to ask that we have, as minimum, the same background check as someone who is working in any other healthcare field. Lawmakers are still making moves on both of those bills in Springfield right now. We will continue to keep track, of course, and bring you the very latest on their status. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Tara Molina, CBS2 News. Tara